The passage from today's gospel reading that speaks to me is, this is an evil generation seeking signs, but no sign will be given except the sign of Jonah. The first reading is the story of Jonah. Jonah was called by God to deliver a message to the people of Nineveh. Repent for, from your evil ways. Jonah was scared, sailed on a boat to get far away from God. The boat hit a storm. Jonah was swallowed by a big fish. He repented and accepted God's will and in three days was spit out by the fish. He preached to the people of Nineveh and they fasted for their sins. God accepted their repentance and did not destroy Nineveh. Jesus in the gospel speaks to us, you evil generation seeking signs. We do. We hear something and we seek facts and proof. We Google search. We hold no value for what we read in history or in the Bible. Jesus is greater than Jonah. Jesus was three days in the tomb. He died and rose from the dead to give us eternal life. He purchases our salvation. Jesus is the greatest sign. We are, we are given the Lenten season to reflect on this great gift of love from God, the salvation from Jesus and eternal life from Him, with Him in heaven. This is the first week of Lent. Set up a plan for your repentance. Work at a closer relationship with God. Here are some ideas on how to have a fruitful Lenten season. You don't have to give up chocolate for 40 days. Read the gospel and look for God's message speaking to you. It may not come at first, but pick the, pick the passage or phrase from the gospel that speaks to you. Meditate on it. What is God telling you to do? Listen to your heart. God speaks to us in silence. That means you have to turn off the TV, the radio, and the phone. Set aside time to pray or visit the Adoration Chapel to meditate. Be closer to Jesus. Fasting is the easy way to prepare for spring and summer bathing suits. But really, you can skip a meal or a favorite food. You know, the $5 Starbucks coffee or the $10 coffee and croissant. Save the money and donate it to the poor or a good charity. It is good to do physical acts. Visit an old relative after Sunday Mass. Reach out and help a neighbor. Volunteer to help a good cause. Do it regularly, not just once during Lent. It has to hurt a little bit. The hardest is to make amends with a friend or a relative. Ask for forgiveness, or giving forgiveness is the best. Plan on going to confession during Lent. You remember what confession is. That is when you speak your sins out to God in the presence of a priest. You can do it. Talk about bad memories or situations that haunt you. Get these feelings off your chest. All that stuff will drag you down. Stress and guilt is a sickness of our body and souls. We need to let it go to get closer to God. God is waiting for us to be closer to Him. God knows we are not perfect. If you slip up or get lazy on your Lenten plan, try better tomorrow. Walk with Jesus and you will have a blessed Easter. El Evangelio del día de hoy lo encontramos en Lucas 11 del 29 al 32. El Evangelio nos dice de que la gente se, se amontonaba para hablar con Jesús, para ver más signos. Jesús les dice que no verán más signos más que el que vieron con Jonás, que llegó a predicarles a Nínive y se convirtieron. Entonces Jesús les dice de que ahí hay uno más grande que Jonás. Mis hermanos, quiero invitarles que reflexionemos lo que Jesús nos dice que en cada Santa Eucaristía nosotros nos acerquemos a Él de corazón, que nos ilumine para que nosotros podamos ver nuestros pecados, para que nosotros podamos arrepentirnos de corazón. Día a día nosotros pecamos, nosotros somos seres humanos, pero más sin embargo somos hijos de Dios, somos llamados a ser santos. En esta cuaresma yo les invito, mis hermanos, que, que abramos nuestro corazón al Señor, que le pidamos de corazón que nos haga humildes para poder reconocer en qué estamos fallando y podamos regresar al Padre, podamos regresar al amor de Dios, al plan de Dios, al plan que tiene 
Jesús de salvación, que es la vida eterna. Como dice San Agustín, no hay peor pecado el de no reconocerse pecador. Yo les invito, mis hermanos, que en esta cuaresma busquemos a la Virgen María para que guiados de la mano de ella lleguemos a los brazos de Jesús. Feliz día.